Hello and thank you for contacting New Wave Support. I see from your clinical request that you're, you have some concerns about the peripheral landing areas in this uh, lens in the patient. And as you know, uh, just a couple of thoughts. You know, obviously, if there's uh, no physiological concern with the lens and it's comfortable, uh, you may be okay, even though you have a little edge to look on this lens. You may not have to make a whole lot of design changes. So, a couple of thoughts, especially in this right eye, if we look at it, uh, there's a couple possibilities for why you're having some of those uh, edge look differences around the edge of uh, the uh, temporal inferior versus the uh, nasal side. It may be due to anatomical differences in those areas, i.e. conjunctival chalasis. And as you noted, uh, insertion of those rectus muscles. But you also might be getting a little bit of an uh, interaction here since you design in free form, since you have a bit of a ridge between 10 and 2 o'clock on this right cornea, uh, Wave may be looking at each one of those radials and creating a little bit of uh, a steeper lens, which may be throwing off some of the dynamics and the other parts of this uh, fitting characteristics. With that said, if, you're, if your lens fit is reasonably close and you think you're pretty uh, close to nailing the um, end result in this lens, one thing you could do is just go down in each area. For example, that inferior area that you're having some trouble with, you can just click on the radial, go to 50%, and just make the design adjustments in the peripheral part of this lens. Either you can go uh, you know, up or down using the pink dot, and then you can adjust that uh, edge angle to make it steeper um, so that we don't have to bump into the thing or flatter it into and uh, same thing on the other side. So you just make some couple little changes there. Another thought is just to try to go to a smaller diameter lens. Uh, either go down to you know 14 or 15. Uh, you could use the little tool in here that has a semi-scleral design. Let me move that up a little higher. The design tool that says semi-scleral, that'll put you about 15 and a half in a <coughs> arsim design. And that could be another alternative, and then you'll have to probably adjust a little bit on those uh, edge angles as you go. The other thought is, uh, since it uh, looks like this cornea doesn't have a whole lot of pathology, you could consider going down to a more of a mini-scleral lens uh, using the eight-step wave design um, philosophy, and I'll re include that link in the email with this. Same thing on the uh, left eye. The design actually looks really good based on uh, your topography and everything. Uh, with this one here, if it seems a little steep or a little tight in those areas, either you can uh, just flatten out the uh, edge angles there to get a little more limbal clearance. I think you were uh, mentioning that you felt there's a little more of a limbal uh, bearing or concern about where it lands on there. So one thought is to move this zone out. And there's a nice little tutorial on uh, the WAVE site. I'll also leave that link for you on how to maybe change this relationship out here uh, very easily. Again, you could also go to a little smaller design and uh, or that mini scleral design. When it comes to the power, uh, I make your the right choice go with the center mirror lens. And of course, if you do add the distance power to it, you still have some of that, that bifocal power that you have in there. You already have a pretty small pupil size in there, so you have a couple of options with that. To get more distance, either you're going to have to shrink up the size of that distance zone see if you can get a little bit more um, distance to show through and you can't go a whole lot smaller on this one so what you may end up doing is add the distance power in to get a little more distance and then just kind of complicate by increasing bumping to the eye up a little bit more so um, you know these are sometimes can be a little bit difficult but uh, that's probably the best choice for improving that well with that said I hope that gives you a few uh, helpful tips to get on track with this patient sounds like you're pretty close I wish you well and thank you for contacting Wave Support.